On to the latest from the buyback space where market regulator SEBI has tweaked buyback norms. Chief Madhavi Puri Butch emphasizes on the need to phase out buybacks via stock exchanges, says the tender route is more equitable and other routes are all vulnerable to favoritism. Listen in. We feel that uh, the tender route is the more equitable route uh, to buyback and that the other routes are vulnerable to uh, favoritism, let me say. Uh, because nobody really knows that in the exchange mechanism, uh, when is the company going to come in order to buy back the shares? And only a few people may be aware of it, and benefits may flow to those few people. It is not an equitable mechanism. And in that context, we are therefore seeking to phase out uh, the market, the stock exchange route for buyback. Uh, but in the interim, since we don't want to have any uh, knee-jerk reaction to anything and we have given a glide path, in the interim, um, we propose that there will be that minimum utilization of the earmarked amount should be increased from 50% to 75%, which means that if you announce a buyback, you must at least do 75% buyback. And also that there will be a separate window on the stock exchange. It cannot be nebulous. Uh, and it matches with just anybody. There is a separate window for buyback. And that will also assist going forward in terms of identifying the tax-related issues, uh, which are important in the whole buyback uh, mechanism. The tender offer route, uh, we are trying to optimize by reducing the timeline. And you will notice that one of the things that we have done, you know, in SEBI, we've spoken about ease of doing business, of process, business process re-engineering. And you would have noticed on page four that we are completely removing the requirement of filing a draft letter of offer with SEBI and awaiting our observations. It's just eliminated. So there we believe that you know, this is a uh, already listed entity. It has ongoing disclosure requirements. They are making public their intentions. And there is no need for SEBI to have any additional requirements or to make any additional observations. And people are expected to comply with the laws of the land. So removing altogether the requirement of filing and observations, which saves time, and also uh, cutting short the tendering period and the period requirement for payment. We have now all digital payment mechanisms, so there's no reason for it to take so long. We are also permitting upward revision of the buyback price right up till one day prior to the record date. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.